Hey everybody, my name's Gene and I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years now. And today, we're gonna combine two of my favorite things, soldiers and paper. We're gonna make a bunch of 3D soldiers out of paper. Now, when you're a kid, yeah, well, probably not now when you're a kid, because now when you're a kid, you probably see soldiers in video games. But when I was a kid, like 11 kadillion years ago, we just had these little green soldiers. And you could play army when you're a kid with these little green soldiers. So I'm going to show you not how to make a video game soldier, but how to make a little green soldier out of paper. Let's get started, and you can make a whole paper 3D soldier army. So the basic parts of a 3D paper soldier, or the basic parts of really any sculpture for that matter, uh, the first thing that you want to do is build an armature. So... Uh, right out of the gates, I know the, the, the rough shape, shape of, a, uh, of the soldier base uh, is going to be something, something kind of like this. Um, if, you're, if you're an old timer like me, you probably have a bunch of these actual uh, little plastic green soldiers. And if you're not an old timer like me, then uh, have your parents rent a Toy Story or possibly small soldiers because there are little green soldier guys in those movies and they're running around talking and you'll see kind of what I'm talking about a little bit. Anyway, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make a base. And um, we're not gonna build the entire soldier. I'm just gonna show you the techniques that are used in making the soldier. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm actually going to uh, just set that base aside a second. I wanna tape the base down. And the reason that I wanna do that is because while you're building an armature, armatures are not very sturdy to begin with until you actually get the thing going particularly if you're building them out of paper. Now, a lot of people will build an armature out of metal, and that's fine, but we don't need to go that hardcore when we're just working in paper. So I'm just gonna tape the top and the bottom to the table here, oops, so that it stays in place. Because the next thing we wanna do is we really just wanna start out with rough sticks, okay? So uh, I'm just gonna build uh, one leg here for you guys to get the general idea. And I'm basically going to just fire up a vertical there and cut along that. Uh, actually, I'm going to go a little bit wider than that. So I'll go maybe twice that, that width, and then I'll just cut a piece straight down. Okay, now what you're going to do is fold this into uh, thirds, roughly. Okay? So I'm going to fold that once, fold it again in on itself. And here, um, this is going to represent the soldier's leg. And I'm going to take a mark about halfway and just cut on the top. You can see here, I'm just cutting in the pieces that we're, we're taping together. Don't cut the bottom part because what we want to do is just make sure that we can bend this leg. Uh, and this is just the armature. And what an armature is, is think of an armature as uh, like a skeleton. So we're just building the skeleton right now, and then we can build up the base after we have the skeleton complete. We can add all the muscles and such. So this, this leg might actually even be a little bit big. So I'm just gonna tape this up real quick, and don't worry about being super, super detailed as you're taping this up, because this is not going to be seen. If we do everything exactly the way we should be doing it, then I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit here. If we do, if we do our job correctly, nobody's gonna see the armature. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I want this soldier, that even might still be a little big, I might have had to make the base bigger, but it's okay for now. Um, so this is gonna be the leg. Now, what I want you to do is make another piece just like this. And now we have two legs, and I'm gonna attach the legs the little cross piece that I already have cut here. And it doesn't matter really what color the inside is. And it doesn't even really matter how sturdy this is to begin with because we're gonna be taping it down, remember, and we're gonna be adding to it. So actually, I don't need a cross piece right now. I'm just gonna tape this to each other. There we go. And it should basically stand up. Now what you want to do, and this is probably going to fall over as I'm talking, but now what you want to do is we're going to draw out a rough uh, thigh shape. So if we were just looking at someone's thigh uh, from the side, basically here's the knee, and it'll come up like this. Okay, and you can study some anatomy later on. 
and it'll basically be like that. So, so the way we want to do this is we want to take this basic shape and we want to duplicate it. So we're going to try to mirror this on the other side. And if we were to try and do this and draw it out, we could get it pretty well. But what I want you to do is uh, right down the center here, just give that a little fold and then cut along your original shape. And I'm going to cut a little bit extra for the knee here, just like this. And you don't have to give it a solid uh, crease fold. And by that, I mean you don't really have to press down uh, too much. There we go. Because essentially what we're going to do is we don't want it folded in half, right? We want to take a pencil and we want to roll the leg kind of along along the pencil. Now this thigh is going to be a little long. And that's fine. We can cut it down. I'm just going to cut it straight down like that and roll it along the pencil. And then we're going to bring it back over to our armature. And I'm going to pull this over here in the center camera there so you can see it. And we're going to essentially tape this to the leg once we have the leg in place. And that's going to help give it form. So using that same basic technique, you can do the same with the torso, you can do the same with the arms, and eventually you can do the same thing with the head, and you can build an entire uh, 3D little army man. There you have it, guys. Do that same thing like 11 kadillion times, and you'll have a giant paper toy soldier army that you can take over your entire neighborhood with. Now, probably they're not going to very reliably take on those little tiny dogs that people bring with them, because to this little paper soldier, the little tiny dog is like a giant. It's like Godzilla. So probably if you're taking over the neighborhood, make sure it's one without those dogs. But anyway, I hope you guys had a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you next time.